Graham a tough one to take. Did you feel that you deserve something from that game today? Yeah, we, we, scored, a, we scored a second goal, which was a very legitimate goal. I don't see what the issue is with it. And the referee or the linesman then decides to tell us that it was offside when it's not offside. So I don't know where they're coming from on that. It was a clear goal. It was a really, really good goal. I don't think there's a debate. Um, we've looked at a back, 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 and we can't, we can't even see where uh, where they're coming from. To be quite honest, so yeah, we're absolutely fuming. To be quite honest with you, absolutely fuming. Decisions like that don't belong in the game, and uh, somebody needs to look at the decision. Somebody needs to give us a, 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 an honest explanation as to why the goal was disallowed. Because at two-two, you were having the upper hand then, and you could have realistically gone on to win that game if that goal is allowed. Well, look, it's. There's no excuses. You can't. You, you can't disallow that goal. And for, for whatever reason, he's decided to, to, to not give it, not allow it. I don't know. He he'll have to come out and explain. But, but these guys get protected, um, and they need to. That, that needs to be explained. That that needs to be explained because that's not uh, that's not good enough. And it's it's uh, we expect better. And, um, no, we're we're, we're filming. We really are filming with the decision to to, to disallow a, a very very good legitimate goal. And aside from that goal, you, you dominated the play, particularly in that second half, didn't you? We did, yeah. We were excellent. We were excellent. But again, I'm stood here in front of you guys and I'm talking about two basic, silly, stupid errors that has cost us the game. Um, you don't make them errors, you win the game today. I thought our performance overall as a whole, from minute one to the, to the, the three minutes he added on at the end, I thought we were excellent today. I thought we were really, really good. But we have to look at the mistakes, we have to look at the errors and we have to look at the two goals that we conceded because um, that's cost us, that's what's cost us today. Um, we got come away with a two-all draw, in my eyes it's a two-all draw because I cannot understand, I cannot legitimately stand here and tell you why the goal was disallowed. Um, it, it was a goal, it was a clear goal, so two-all, even at two-all I would have been I would have been fuming as well because uh, yeah, we were the better team and we should have won that game by a landslide. And Will, Will Evans was furious, wasn't I? I know he picked up the yellow card, but that's rightfully so because he, he went straight to the assistant referee, he couldn't understand the decision either. Yeah, but that's a cop out. That's a cop out. You book a player for coming over. The player is well within his rights to, uh, to 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 point out to the referee and point out to the linesman that he wasn't offside. He's well within his rights. There's nothing in the rule book to say you can't say that to the linesman and the referees. But when they start that dishing yellow cards out and don't let you speak to them, that's the bit that gets professional footballers. That's the bit that gets management and that's the bit that gets people. And that, that's a really really costly error today. A really really costly error. We've lost that game because of that decision. Um, coupled with our bad defending but yet yeah, the player is quite entitled to and there's nothing in the rule book to say you cannot challenge a decision nothing in the rule book at all but these guys are protected from hierarchy and you can't uh, you can't do that and you know you, you just gotta bit their pill you just gotta take it and it's a shame we couldn't get the result today after such a positive week for the club what with the news of the takeover yeah yeah it was a it was a really uh, it was a really positive week with the takeover and hopefully it's uh, Hopefully it's a sign of uh, sign of things to come. But today, listen, the performance was, was was really good, really positive, really strong performance at a, at a tough place to come. But um, I can't can't get past the goal, the disallowed goal, and I can't get past the two errors that we made for their goals. So uh, I'll uh, I'll have another sleepless night tonight, thinking about the, the two mistakes for the goals and the. Uh, and the referee's decision, the linesman's decision, very, very costly. Sh shades of Accrington, wasn't it? But you know, plenty of good, but nothing to show for it. That's not the toughest part. There was plenty to show for it. We, we were excellent. Yeah. We were very, very good today with the ball. We were very good with the ball. We created lots and lots of chances, not only in the first half but the second half. Um, we didn't bring our shooting boots with us, and we made one or two two basic errors. And that's where we're at at the minute. Every error we're making is going in the back of our net. Where the other team seems to be getting away with it, the other teams seem to be able to hang on and be resilient. We make a mistake, and it goes in the back of our net. But the performance today was was, was excellent, and if that's that's a sign of things to come. Um, we, we'll win a lot more than we lose. But we've got to we've got to uh, we've got to tidy ourselves up all around. Kept pushing a few people. Probably pressing their, their claims off the bench, and keep on again doing well and giving giving you a headache. We're trying to give you a headache. Um, no, um, he, 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 Kevan came off the bench today. Woody came off the bench today, and the, the Bonswell as well. They uh, they contributed to a really solid, uh, strong second half. Uh, well, 90 minute performance, but they came off in the second half. So yeah, they contributed to a, to a. Uh, a really good second half performance. Kiban was very unlucky there at the end. Really, if he was on the pitch for maybe a little bit longer, he might have been. Uh, he might have scored. He had a great, he's a great header. He's again, like I say, he's in the right position. He was positive when he came on, and uh, that's all we ask our strikers to do: get between the sticks and hit the target. He did. The goalie saved it. It didn't go in there.
in this weather. It rained. When it, when it rains, it pours. Um, Adam Lewis is. What's, what's the sort of early signs on him? Was it? Well, it's a muscle a muscle injury, so uh, we're not quite sure as to the extent of it, what it is. Um, hopefully, it's not too bad. But look, the the, the look we're having lately, um, I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it is a bad one because uh, that's where we're at. That's the period of the season we're at, and that's what's been happening to us. But um, it, it's something we'll have to assess. We'll obviously look at uh, over the weekend, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll have an answer for uh, from the the medical department by Monday.